Hi. We're on a mission to help reduce food waste. Our, um, our smart way is preventive, how to avoid food products of expiring and not becoming waste. Uh, food waste is a global problem. As the figures indicate, uh, it's, these are huge numbers, and uh, EU's SDG target as well has a reduction target of 50% in the whole chain by 2030. As we see it, these figures and many studies also indicate there's a lot of money to be made in the business by reducing food waste. There's also, on top of this, there's also non-financial motivators, such as sustainable image, ethical responsibility, stakeholder relations, and waste regulations. So up to 20% of the food we buy on average go to landfills. Why? We buy stuff we don't use and consume. The whole uh, ecosystem and chain uh, needs better tools to be more efficient, so it doesn't wrap up at the end of the chain, as currently. The world is changing, and so is the food industry. Uh, the mega trends and the consumer demands are definitely driving the change we see today. Uh, we believe that there's a need and an upcoming trend of transparency in this industry. And of course, we also believe that uh, online groceries will keep on growing as estimated. Uh, we build our solutions on, on our modular solutions on utilizing the data from the system, from the products, because this enables us to track and manage the data, uh, the, through the products throughout the chain. Uh, the transparency is key, and also the intelligent retail part is really important. So we are currently validating uh, the market with, uh, through pilot customers uh, in the producer and store space. We built a solution um, to, uh, to actually gain control of sales and reduce the waste our customer had in the fresh produce industry. Uh, the result was basically we proved the concept to work and they improved their business and actually reduced waste. Uh, on a daily basis of these fresh producers. So what we're doing now, we're still in early stage, we're finalizing the, 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 the pilot projects and con uh, conceptualizing these and making it into a real product we can start selling at the beginning of the year. Also, we are in parallel uh, diving deeper into the transparency uh, of, the, of the whole chain and going deeper towards the, towards the consumer. We're also looking for new talents to join the team. And uh, thank you, Heiki. Time for the judges' critique. Questions, comments? Thank you. Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what it actually is? Um, sure. Uh, what, what is the product? How does it fit into the existing workflow of the customers? Yeah, actually, it's, it's fairly simple. It's a, it is an add-on um, technology. We use IoT, and we, use, we basically track the products from the, from the factory to the retail stores. So we see uniquely where each product is. And this, of course, uh, then just puts the, the segment into that we have fairly high-end products, or which are rather 10 euros than one euro in, in price, so we can actually add the RFID technology to it. So we simply tag and follow and then manage. So the two features the customer can do is react to if there seems to be more products than they are likely to sell before the expiry date. They, and the function they do is they start a campaign to, to also promote to their loyal customers that to come and pick it up for a, uh, for a cheaper price. On the other hand, they also see a very big, uh, uh, well, the big part is that they can add sell because it, they don't want to sell out of stock in the shops. So they also replenish, so they don't lose any customers who are willing to buy their products. So it's optimizing sales and reducing food waste. It's a very nice challenge you are trying to solve, so thumbs up for that. Can you tell us about your background or your team? Yeah, well, um, I have a technical background and focusing mainly on sales in the recent years. But of course, um, and the team, we have a great team with, uh, with different types of talents from service design to development, front and back end. 
uh, and also technology, but we also use partners because hardware is a part thing that we have in the, in the concept now, but that's not something we want to deal with too much. That's why we also partner with a, uh, with a hardware partner that has the growth, uh, has the potential to grow also. How do you think about your sales strategy and who you're selling to inside these companies? Yeah, so uh, like, like men, as mentioned, uh, this is in the pro producer and the store level currently where we're deepening and validating this. And it seems that uh, clearly the, the time criticalness for the real-time uh, kind of management of products defines a, a clear segment of really fast perishable items, for example, with shelf life up to from two to four days, because then it's really t uh, crucial to react real time. I meant more about, you know, who are the people inside these organizations? So what positions do they have and kind of where in the organization does your product fit? Well, uh, in, in these cases, it's, it's clear the, the CFOs and the CEOs who, who see the numbers that they increase sales and reduce cost by reducing co wastage. So, but these are small companies. Of course, it's about also how to scale with the big ones. So I think almost all really successful startups have a good answer to the question, why now? Like, why hasn't this been done before? Why is right now the moment to start this company? What's that for you? Well, I think uh, the opening speech of Mr. Al Gore also stated that sustainability is a huge business opportunity in this revolution ongoing now. There's a lot of companies working with food waste, all in all, from the, from the beginning until, for example, how to uh, promote um, uh, restaurants, promote their via Rescue Club app, via Karma app in the Nordics, and there's several in, in around the world. And of course, this just, I think this proves that their consumers are sustainably, it's a core value for us. And of course, price is always number one with the majority. But sustainability is really picking up as a core value of consumers, as well as businesses. And uh, thank you, Heiki. That's about it. We have thank to you very move much. on.